Dave Rexroth joining us now and yeah, brightened up out there. A it's little nice. Bit, yeah, so it warmed up too. It yeah. wasn't so chilly this morning. We got yeah. a little warmer. Uh, we're looking at a little opportunity for rain here, but tomorrow I think probably some boomers thrown in as well. Uh, so far, temperatures not bad. 76 at Ipsy, 77 in Port Huron. That's down two degrees just from last hour. It was at 79 last hour. 76 in Lapeer. Warmer north because it's still a little brighter overall. Clouds are thicker south. That's why Adrian is the cool spot now at 70. And you got some showers coming toward you here in Adrian. This is not a real big problem. Uh, looks like it most of us be light to moderate shower action. That's the only bit out there right now. But as we get later this evening, we could add chances on the north side as well. But right now, the focus next couple of hours anyway is probably south of I-94. Wider view shows you some trouble out here. There's a severe thunderstorm watch in parts of Wisconsin, Minnesota, down in Iowa, a couple clusters of storms as well. That energy moves toward us tomorrow. I think tomorrow is going to be the first time you really go, oh, this is a summer feel. Now, we talk about humidity and mugginess and all that kind of stuff. Put a couple of emojis on here. As we get up into this muggy level, some people are going to start to be saying, oh, really, already? Uh, these are dew point temperatures, all right? It's the ultimate measure of moisture. I know it's easier to understand humidity, but humidity might be 50% tomorrow, but it'll still very feel very sticky because of this extra moisture with those dew points coming up. So again, a little more energy, a little more moisture tomorrow, and that probably means some shower and thunderstorm. In the morning, there could be a little action here, but watch as we get later. See that surge? All right, especially into 2 o'clock in the afternoon and beyond. Shower and thunderstorm chances become more widespread and could be a little heavy. As a matter of fact, there is an opportunity for one or two of these storms to be a bit too strong. So we'll say it's an isolated severe risk here, especially from about 4 o'clock to 10 o'clock. That's kind of the timing here as we go along. All right, so tornado is not a real concern here. But hail is an opportunity. Winds and flooding this time. A lot of juice without all that extra mugginess I was telling you about. So if you get a storm or two to go through your area and it doesn't move too fast, then there could be an issue not only with the winds, but maybe some flooding as well. This evening, 70s shower chance here and there. Not a real big deal. 63 tonight. There still might be a few showers. It's getting muggy overnight and then tomorrow you really start to feel that juiciness, if you will. 80 for a high. It'll feel warmer than that. The first time we're talking about heat index, 82, 83, something like that. And periods of showers and storms it could be off and on through the day, but late in the day, especially after four o'clock is the one that the couple that will be watching uh, more closely. How about this Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days, sunshine, dry at or near 80. You are welcome. Thank you. <laughs>